Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss important MCQs related to ANC. Acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis, also known as Vincent's infection, trench mouth, fetid stomatitis, all of the above. All of the above. ANC, also known as Vincent's infection, fetid stomatitis, trench mark, Vincent stomatitis. Anak mainly affect interdental papillae, marginal gingiva, attached gingiva, alveolar mucosa. Interdental papillae. Anak mainly affect interdental papillae. Then it extends to marginal gingiva. All the following involved in etiology of ANAP except spirochetes and fused from bacillus, smoking, AIDS, UV radiation. UV radiation. Etiology of ANAP include bacteria such as spirochetes and Fusiform bacillus. Local factors include pre existing gingivitis, injury to gingiva, smoking. Then, systemic factors are vitamin A and vitamin D deficiency, anemia, leukemia, AIDS. Which of the following is most superficial zone of ANAP? Bacterial zone, neutrophil rich zone. Necrotic zone, zone of spirochetal infiltration. Bacterial zone. Four zones of anagwas given by Liz Carter. Four zones namely, zone 1 bacterial zone, zone 2 neutrophil rich zone, zone 3 necrotic zone, zone 4 zone of spirochetal infiltration. Punched out crater like depression is characteristic feature of ANAC, herpetic gingiva stomatitis, pericoronitis, discomatic gingivitis. ANAC. ANAC is characterized by punched out crater like depression at the crust of interdental papilla. Which of the following? Not true about ANAC. Gingival craters covered by grayish pseudomembrane leads to periodontal pocket formation, spontaneous bleeding after slight stimulation. ANAC is caused by spirochetes and fusiform bacilli. Leads to periodontal pocket formation. ANAC not usually leads to periodontal pocket formation. According to Pinball, necrosis extending to alveolar bone is classified as stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4. Stage 4. Pinball classified stages of progression of anag into 4 stages. Stage 1, erosion of tip of papilla. Stage 2, lesion extending to marginal gingiva. Stage 3, lesion extending to attached gingiva. Stage 4, exposure of bone. Stage 4 of ANAC, according to Horning and Cohen's classification is Necrosis extending to anterior papilla. Necrosis extending to attached gingiva. Necrosis extending to buccal or labial mucosa. Necrosis extending to alveolar bone. Necrosis extending to attached gingiva. According to Horning and Cohen's classification, there is seven stages for progression of ANAP. Stage 1. Necrosis of tip of interdental papilla. Stage 2, necrosis of 
enter papilla stage 3 necrosis extending to marginal gingiva stage 4 necrosis extending to attached gingiva stage 5 necrosis extending to buccal or labial mucosa stage 6 necrosis exposing the alveolar bone stage 7 necrosis perforating the skin or cheek Which of the following treatment used for ANAP? Removing pseudomembrane with hydrogen peroxide. Rinse the mouth every two hours with diluted 3% hydrogen peroxide. Systemic antibiotics, all of the above. All of the above. Drug of choice for ANAP. Amoxicillin, Azithromycin, Metronidazole, all of the above. All of the above. Treatment for anag include Amoxicillin 500mg thrice daily. Patient sensitive to penicillin, then Azithromycin 500mg once a day for 3 days or Metronidazole. 200 mg or 400 mg twice daily for 7 days. It's all about the topic, Anak. Thank you.